Welcome back dear students. So, in today's class, we will be learning how to find median of continuous or discontinuous frequency distribution. That means, basically today we will be finding median for grouped data. Okay, So, here you see on the screen, I have written the formula which you have learned in the last class. Okay, So, the same formula will be again used but in case of median, okay, in case of finding median, we will not be using this particular thing. Okay, so that means whenever n is even, the median will be equals to the n by 2th term. Okay, so that's the only difference that we find in this. Okay, remember we are finding median for what kind of data? We are finding for grouped data okay so we are finding median for group data everything remains the same but only difference will be this one okay so the median will be the n by 2th term if n is even okay and remember here you have to make use of graph paper and always make use of 2 mm graph sheet 2 mm graph sheet because in your icc examinations also you will be making use of 2 mm graph sheets Okay, so let's see the first question. So, the first question here on the screen says, estimate the median for the given data by drawing ogive. Now, all of you know how to draw ogive, right? So, because we have already seen one chapter uh, and we have learned there how to draw the ogive for any grouped data. So, for drawing ogive, first and foremost, you have to draw the cumulative frequency distribution. So, we have, I have already drawn cumulative frequency distribution. So, after doing that, what you need to do is, you need to draw or you will draw the graph this way. Okay. So, we have x axis and y axis here. Okay. And remember, in the x axis, okay. So, in the x axis, you will be drawing class interval okay so here you are going to draw class interval so let me write here class interval okay and uh, in the y axis you will be drawing the cumulative frequency remember okay so you will be drawing cumulative frequency so let me write here cumulative frequency so just write cf it's understandable cf right okay so your class interval starts from 0 to uh, 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 and 40 to 50. Okay, So, let us mark it. So, all of you know this becomes your 0. So, let me call this to be 10. Okay, Let me call this to be 20. Let me call this to be uh, how much is next? 30. Next call it to be 40. Next call it to be 50. So, we have to draw only till 50. Okay. Now, how do you draw ogive? Okay. So, from, I have marked class interval in the x axis. In the y axis, you have to uh, plot the cumulative frequency. Okay. So, again, as usual, let me call this as 10. This is your 10. This is your 20. So, this is your 30. 40 and we have this to be my 50. Anyway, my maximum cumulative frequency is 50 here. So, till here my graph is enough. Okay. Now, look at this. Now, for drawing Q, uh, you know, uh, ogive, first and foremost, you have to plot some points. So, you have to plot this point. Remember, 10, 4. Okay. So, the first point that you need to plot is 10, 4. Next, you have to plot 20, 13. Next, you have to plot 30, 28, next 40, 42, next 50 and next also becomes 50. Okay. So, let us see how to plot this. Now, the first point. So, the first point that I see here is 10, 4. So, 10 is here. So, 10, 4 will be somewhere over here. I am sure you know how to plot the diagram, plot the graph. So, this is my. Okay. So, this is my 10, 4. Okay. So, if you want to write 10, 4, that will be better, you know. So, we have this is your 10, 4. 
so we better write 10 comma 4 okay next next we have 20 comma 13 so 20 comma 13 10 11 12 13 so it will be somewhere over here 10 comma 13 so this is your 10 comma 13 okay and then next you have 30 comma 28 30 comma 28 28 will be somewhere over here okay next you have 40 comma 42 so 40 comma 42 will be somewhere over here okay and after that we have 50 comma 50 so 50 comma 50 will be somewhere over here okay so i have plotted all the numbers so let me write it once again this is my 50 comma 50 next we have this is your uh, 40 comma 42 40 comma 42 this is your point uh what is this point 30 comma 28 right so this is your 30 comma 28 next you have this point this is your 20 comma 13 so 20 comma 13 is there okay and you have already written 10 comma 4 here okay so this is your 10 comma 4 now what you need to do is you need to join it okay you need to join all these values okay and remember here since your class term, class interval starts with 0 so that's why you have to draw from here itself okay right so we have see here carefully we have so from here from 0 see here try and understand what am i trying to say okay see if your you know class is starting from 0 when your class is 0 then also your cumulative frequency is 4 so whenever it is 0 your cumulative frequency has to be starting from 4 so let me start from 4 and you have to draw a rough diagram okay so you have to draw a rough diagram remember joining all these points freehand drawing you need not use the scale so just wait a minute right so we have a freehand drawing here okay so you have to draw using your freehand okay so this is how my graph looks okay now you are asked to find the median okay and remember this gives you what n right so here n is 50 that is even isn't it so whenever it is even then your median will be i told you your median will be n by 2th term that is 50 by 2th observation observation so what is that actually let's see so it is 25th observation so 25 means what 25 means we are 25 term means we have to look at the cumulative frequency so where does 25 lie here so i see 25 lies somewhere over here isn't it so 25 lies exactly in the middle so this is your 25 now from here what you need to do is you need to draw a horizontal line using scale okay so you draw using scale and from here you have to drop a perpendicular okay you have to drop a perpendicular it will be better if you make use of your scale okay and when i drop the perpendicular i see that it will be around see this point okay so this point gives you the median remember so this looks like 27 or 28 around 27 or 28 okay so let me take this to be 27 from the graph okay so that's why your median will be equals to 27 for this case is that clear so you may pause the video and note down your solution So next we have a similar kind of question okay so here again using ogive you have to find the median okay so using ogive again you have to find the median so here what we will you see we will do the same thing here also okay so first and foremost let's quickly draw what is the, your you know x-axis and y-axis so we have the x-axis and y-axis being drawn okay just wait a minute okay so let me draw it properly let me draw your diagram properly so this is your 
Okay. So see here carefully. So this is my uh, x axis and y axis. So x axis is ready. Okay, y axis is also ready. Right. So we have, I told you, we will draw class interval here. So we have class interval in the x axis, class interval, and uh, that class interval contains weight. So you can write weight here in kgs. Okay. And in the y axis, you have to draw cumulative frequency. Okay. Now, we have the maximum cumulative frequency that you can see is 55. Okay. So, you do not have any problem. So, like earlier one, you will take this to be. Okay. So, let me use another color. So, this becomes your 10, this is your 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. So, you want till 55. So, let me draw till 60 here. Mm. And here also we have till 35. Okay. So, 10 to 15. So, we can take this to be, see. Uh, okay. So, you do one thing. Uh, right. So, we will take this as 10. Okay. So, 10 to 15. Then after that we have 15 to 20 then 25 then 30 and we have then next is 35 okay so see there is no gap see here uh, earlier it has to be from 0 to see, if you you know uh, when you uh, make a rough uh, calculation earlier it has to be 0 to 10 around that okay and that time your cumulative frequency is 0 Okay, nothing is given means your cumulative frequency becomes 0. So, that is why, see, whenever it is 0 to 10, 0 to 10, your cumulative frequency becomes 0. Okay, so that is why from 10 onwards only your, this thing starts. From 10 onwards only, from 10 onwards only your graph will start. Okay, and let us plot the points now. So, you see here the points are, so 15. 11 isn't it so let's draw 15 11 so f we have first is 15 to 11 so 11 lies somewhere over here so this is your 15 11 first point next we have 20 36 so 20 to 36 will be somewhere over here so 20 36 next we have 25 48 so we have 25 this is 40, so 20 by 40, it will be somewhere over here, okay. Next, we have 30 to 53, so 30 to, this is my 50, so this is my 53, so 30 to 53. Next, we have 35 to 55, so whenever it is 35, it becomes 55, so 55 will be somewhere over here, okay. So, let me again mark it, so remember, this is my, how much, this is 35, 55. 35, 55. This is your, how much? This is your, next, that is 30, 53. 30, 53. Okay. Next, we have uh, this point. So, this point is, uh, so this is your next point, 25, 48. 25, 48. Next is this one, which is 20, 36. 20, 36. And the next one is this one. So, this is given to be how much? This is given to be 15 to 11. Okay. So, see here carefully. So, whenever it is 10, see I told you whenever it is 10, whenever it is 10, then the value of cumulative frequency is 11. Okay. So, if I use the diagram here now. So, whenever it is 10, okay, let me use another color. So, whenever it is 10, the cumulative frequency is 10. Uh, 11, I am sorry, not 10, it is 11. So, it is 11 here. So, that is why it will start this way. Okay, So, your graph looks somewhat like this. I use a freehand drawing. Use freehand drawing. Right. So, this is how your diagram looks. Okay. So, this is how your diagram looks. So, there is a mistake out here. 
So, let me redraw it. So, okay. So, we have again let me show you. So, whenever it is 10, the value cumulative frequency is 11. So, from here you will draw a parallel line like this and it goes up. Okay. And here you have to draw this kind of you know uh, a kind of resistance diagram. So, here you have to draw this and this will be your ogive. Okay. Now, here n is here n is 55 which is odd. So, that is why your median Okay, so your median is going to be will be equals to 55 n plus 1 by 2th observation, isn't it? So, for that, let us see. So, it becomes 56 by 2. So, 56 by 2 is 28th observation, isn't it? So, 28 means 28 is the remember cumulative frequency. So, cumulative frequency being 28 is somewhere over here. So, this is your 28 remember. So, next is you have to draw a parallel line from 28. So, from 28 draw a parallel line. Okay. So, from 28 draw a parallel line and from here you have to drop a perpendicular to the x axis. Okay. So, from this point from this point you have to drop a perpendicular. Now, this okay. So, this uh, value this value will be your median. Now, let us count here. Let us count here properly. So, from here to here till here is 15, right? And here is 28. So, count 2 as 1, okay? So, this becomes your 16, this becomes your 17, this becomes your 18, this becomes your 19. So, that means your median or the observation, 20 observation is how much? your 20th observation turns out to be, see count again, 11, 16, 17, 18 and this becomes your 19 and then only comes 20. So, that is why your 20th observation will be 19 here. So, that is why your median will be how much? 19 for this particular question. Okay? So, you may pause the video and note down your solution. Okay, so next we have this particular question. So this question I am not going to do. You will do it by yourself. Okay, and uh, here see we don't need to make any. If you get in this this kind of question, you need not make any cumulative frequency graph because uh, see here I am sorry you need not make any cumulative frequency table because here only you, it is given cumulative frequency. So basically you need to plot 10, 5, 20, 24. 30, 37, 40, 40. So, plot this, okay, and here n turns out to be 80, okay, and whenever it is even, how do you need to calculate median? You already know. Similarly, you have got formula for lower quartile and you have got formula for upper quartile. So, you can calculate from there, okay. So, we will take the last problem. So, in the last problem, in the last problem, if you see here, this upper limit and lower limit does not match. So, for that what you need to do is you have to do the adjustment. Okay? So, basically this is a discontinuous uh, function given to you, you know, discontinuous uh, what should I say, uh, data is given to you. Okay? So, you have to redraw the uh, you know uh, table. So, you have to write adjusted class interval. Okay? You have got the number of people. Okay? So, you have number of people with you. Okay, and you have got cumulative frequency. You have to draw these three things. Okay, now I have told you you have to remove the lower limit. Uh, you have to subtract uh, lower limit by zero point five. So when you multi uh, subtract, you get twenty point five, and the upper limit has to be added by zero point five. So it becomes one thirty point five. So that time your number of people will be twelve. Okay. Similarly, this lower limit has to be subtracted by 0 0.5. So, it becomes 130.5 to 140.5. Okay. So, I will just draw this for you. So, again you will do it by yourself. Okay. So, we have 140.5. Similarly, this becomes lower limit becomes 140.5 and the upper limit will be increased. It becomes 150.5. Similarly, 
this becomes 150.5 and the upper limit becomes 160.5 okay and uh, the lower limit becomes 160.5 upper limit becomes 170.5 this becomes 170.5 till 180.5 okay so these are the things that you need to do and uh, you have the number of people given to you 14 and 8 now next is you have to find the cumulative frequency so 12 so 12 plus uh, 16 is 28 so the 28 plus 30 is 58 58 plus 20 is 78 78 plus 14 is 92 92 plus 8 is 100 so that's why you see here n is 100 okay so now you have to do the same thing like earlier okay so you will complete this also by yourself one more thing see here carefully for lower quartile remember there is a formula okay so for lower quartile whenever n is even your lower quartile formula is n by 4 isn't it so put n to be put n to be 80 okay so it becomes 20 so whenever you know in the cumulative frequency y axis search for n by 4 that is 20 okay so from 20 you have to draw a parallel line and drop a perpendicular wherever it is coinciding that becomes your lower quartile and you know upper quartile is 3 times n by 4 so it becomes 60 so wherever it is 60 so from 60 you have to draw a parallel line and from there you have to drop a perpendicular wherever it, it is coinciding that becomes your upper quartile okay so do these things you will get your answer okay so with this we close for the day and with this we close this particular exercise also thank you very much